corporate debt from a cop for mind melt videos. I'd like you to meet my girlfriend, Agatha. Say hi, baby. Ooh, you look so beautiful today. Ooh. I don't talk to the fucking camera anyway. <laughs> the usual thing there. Yeah. Oh. Like Give us my drink, man. Samples, so yeah. Give us my drink, thanks. Well, let's do it then. Ready? Okay, Motorhead, new record out. What the hell is going on? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> if you said, oh, Motorhead, no record out. What the hell is going on? I would like it. We put a record out every year. You know, you should be used to it by now. Yeah. Yeah. What makes you guys so consistent? You know. Because we're stars. <laughs> yeah. Because well, we're professionals. Consistence. No, we we do a we do a world tour and and a record. He kind of runs on a routine thing, I would say. <laughs> no. You get we get bored on playing the same songs. So yeah, we have to reinvent ourselves every year, you know. Write some new stuff. Besides which, we, I mean, you guys wouldn't be as confused if we didn't, would you? So True. We, have to, we have to keep you on your toes, you know. Oh well, yeah. <laughs> and this time it's truly a three piece. Because the yeah. last one you still had words, so kind of. That's right. Out. You notice how that? Does, yeah, how, how do you feel to kind of go back to uh, to the roots? It's not back to the bloody roots. This is three different people. Yeah. You know. Well, you know, it's funny. It's sacrifice. It, we were four, but we were three actually, because he didn't play very much on that album at all, and he did not contribute anything. Yeah. So already then it was a three piece. Sat around with his guitar across his knees and bitch, you yeah, know. Yeah, he was just on a picture. On the U.S. release, he wasn't, and on the European, he was. I think. Which is bad, person, really. He yeah. should have been on it because he was yeah. on the record, you know. But. but he didn't do very much, so it was uh, already then a three-piece, and uh, you know. But now we're actually a five-piece. But two guys left this morning. Yeah, two girls. That happens. Two girls, yeah. Oh. They, they were dressed as guys. There's be more girls tonight. <laughs> so we can kind of expand. Yeah, well, you never know. Maybe we'll recruit six more tonight then. Yeah. Why not? The Motorhead Touring Review tomorrow and in Detroit. Glee Club. <laughs> We'd be eight-piece in Detroit tomorrow. Eight-piece. Yeah. Eight ball. Eight ball. Speed balls open. And with this new record, any particular tracks we should be aware of? Yeah, all of them. Uh, anything in, in particular that will really knock us out? Well, they all should if you got your yeah. head on right. You know, yeah. I mean, we don't make bad records. Well, of course. <laughs> anything literally? No, it's really, it's really hard to just pick one song out. But uh, you know, all the songs basically are are Motorhead. You know, mm -hmm. and if you are. Uh, Afraid of loud, heavy music, then this then is not you should fear tonight's little event. You know. <laughs> also, if you're the mother of a 16 to 20 year old girl, you should watch out for that too. If she's home late, we've got her. She's on the bus. Yeah. Okay. This is uh, also second record for uh, the same label in the US. How did you manage that? Yeah, that is we actually didn't manage quite that. Ama amazing. <laughs> <laughs> How did they manage that? They they played fair by us. Yeah. Okay. They d actually what they did. They did their job. That's are all they did. Still doing it. Yeah. And still doing it. That's we we're as amazed as you are because we've been putting out records and uh, the label has not really come through at all. Most labels suck, you know. Yeah, they ask. These guys have really been doing right. I mean, they shipped the first record before we signed. Yeah. Which you don't get anymore. I mean, that's faith, you know. Let's have a bit of faith, but you don't get it anymore. So I was really impressed with that. No, I show you. Fuck him. So most likely you'll be doing another record with him. Hopefully, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Possibly two. Who knows? If everything continues, to, the if future is a closed book to yeah. us. We're not clairvoyant. We don't know. Yeah. Um, the, new, the title of the new record, "Of Night Sensation." Right. Uh, it's, a, it's a bit removed from the last two records. I mean, "Bastard" and "Sacrifice" pretty in your face titles. Well, it's a different record, see? Yeah. In what way? Well, it's new more songs. recent for a start. <laughs> Completely different songs. Yeah. New cover. Back to the roots, you know. cover. <laughs> It's a green cover Back instead of... Back to the of, roots. Yeah, the see. roots. No, it's a kind of an irony, you know, overnight It's a little joke, yes, yeah. yeah. <laughs> we make a little joke, you. So... Blame me, you yourself uh, just turned 50, well, publicized event, by the way. Almost uh, 51. 51. How does it feel to kind of rock at this age? Same as 49, but a year later. Uh -huh. Really, I mean, yeah. you know, I mean, what do you, what do you mark your birthdays with? It feels the same, doesn't it? You don't feel different. It's a fucking birthday. I mean, people buy your presents and shit, and all jump about and go, "Hey, happy birthday!" You know, and it feels exactly the same. You don't know. So you still got a line of fire. 
more than you apparently. I'd have thought of better questions than this. <laughs> <laughs> uh, speaking of your uh, persona, whenever I see you at the uh, like Tonight Show or any show, you basically, you know, seal the show. Ever think of having your own show like that? It's only because the others are so bad, it isn't because I'm so good. Yeah. Oh, true? Because the others are all usually bloody dorks. I mean, who was that? Leave it to Beaver or somebody who was on the Tonight Show and that Edie. <laughs> Edie McClurg, she was yeah, funny. Yeah. She was great. Me and her stole the show between us, eh? Yeah. yeah, I mean, whenever I see the show... And the I others were like around. bystanders, weren't they? Yeah, <laughs> Onlookers. Like, I see the holes in you, I'm like, they should just switch the seat, basically. Yeah. And then <laughs> he had that girl to mop his face, I remember that. She was stood behind his chair with a powder puff, and every time the camera went off, and she was like... Powder up your face, yeah. yeah. Didn't do mine, you know. You were doing that, that segment in that Hard and Heavy video, Ask Lemmy. Are you still get letters, people asking you about stuff? No. No? It's funny, though. That was funny. So, in other words, the new generation of listeners is not aware that you are also an advisor? No, they're just not aware of Hard and Heavy, that's all, because they come out ten years ago, you know. Uh, that's true. <laughs> yeah. and, uh, and, uh, some of us like shit eating and some of us don't. <laughs> some of us have He's large shit, uh, members and some of us don't. My mind has gone a blank. It's melted, melted. in fact. <laughs> My mind has melted. You see, that was perfect, wasn't it? Alright, All right, you're watching My Milk Video. I'm Edward and I just saw the Sea Snakes concert and I am melting. This latex has got to come off. It is all over the place. <laughs> Mind built video. I'm melting. Uh, hi, I'm Jesper from In Flames, and you're watching Mind Melt with a T. <laughs> I'm Carl Earth Crisis, and you're watching Mind Melt. Bye. Uh, yeah, thanks.